Hello viewers, welcome to FIT YouTube channel. My name is Fawzul Islam. Today I bring any video for everyone like uh, sequential activator. Those people are working in long time fire protection system. This is the new system. Uh, those people are doesn't know about this connection. This is the uh, sequential activator. So today I brief you how to connect this sequential activator. How many wire you need required in this box and how do you connect or should you connect so before that if you are do not subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel and the right side there have one bell icon please click the bell icon so viewers sequential activator in instruction i will brief you now the first one is uh, in this sequential activator a four cable is required from the control panel and is queried to each sequential activator and then the a maximum of 20 sequential activators model fire flow as a happen gen 3.0 and fv sa and gn 3m8 can be can be connected to the control panel connected only to specified fire flow can take panels and then number three it is most important number three if only one fire flow actuator is to be connected to a sequential activator then connected terminal a and b minus a plus and b minus if if you see here looking in actuator uh, sequential act, uh, activator there have one uh, four option a plus a minus b plus and b minus if one sequential activator is just, that means fire flow generator is have one if you are in a stall only one single piece that means you have to connect a plus a plus and b minus option okay and then and then if two detect uh, fire flow generator if you are in a stall that means if two fire food generator if in it in install actuator are to be connected to sequential activator then connected one actuator to terminal a plus you see there have one plus and a minus if you are connected to generator install it in the if you want to connect and uh, connected wire in this sequential actu actuator you have to connect in plus a plus and a minus one generator and other generator you have to connect b plus and b minus okay terminal b plus and b minus and all sequential actuators are uh, supplied with a jumper if, if you see there have one jumper is black okay all sequential uh, actuator have jumper this is a jumper link uh, fitted this jumper link must be left fitted to the last actuator the last actuator on the pen or on the line and the end of line diode from from the control panel and discarded okay so viewers this is the uh, um, I now I brief you uh, all uh, these things so viewers now i show you the connection how do you connect wire in this uh, motherboard this is the sequence actuator motherboard see downside they have a lot of option okay 24 voltage in and 24 voltage out Ex exit in and exit out so how do you connect first way you bring two wire uh, two cable one for auxiliary power 24 voltage one for actuator uh, actuator uh, cable from uh, our panel two wire required in, in this box remember it so first 24 voltage wire where you connect if you uh, looking the below uh, below the motherboard they have 24 voltage in cable you have to connect here in cable 24 voltage okay and then if you have another box to sequential actu uh, actuator box sequential actuator box so 
they need to loop this wire also see uh, there have uh, 24 voltage out option also 24 voltage 24 voltage out option so you can take from here to uh, another box and then we have exit exiting in our panel shield panel we have exiting uh, option from exiting option to um, here exit in you have to connect exit in if you are see, looking here below the um, this um, motherboard plus and minus you have to connect here and then if you need another sequence uh, uh, sequential actuator box you can take from here or from out okay and the most important is things is doubt in the line if uh, if you if you need to remove the uh, in the line last devices you have to remove the uh, in this jumper uh, uh, jumper sorry and then generator aerosol generator fried for generator where you connect if you have single aerosol generator then you need to connect in uh, a plus okay a plus and b minus a plus and b minus if you are single second uh, generator a plus and b minus you need to connect if you have two generator okay that means you need to connect a plus and a minus one generator and b minus and b plus so viewers this is the procedure of uh, sequential actuator connection if you have any doubt please be, comment below my video so and then now i i brief you another things the specification of this sequential actuator this sequential actuator is 97 mm by 97 mm by 48 mm and then uh, material is 1.2 mm main shield steel color is gray input voltage is 19 to 30 voltage dc and terminal is spring left 50 mm pins and then capability uh, cable capacity uh, capacity is 0.5 mm square to 2.5 mm square and then um, input delay time is 50 million second and plus and minus 100 million seconds end of line device is jumper link not other things only jumper remember it output duration is 2.0 second plus and minus for 100 million second so viewers if you feel this video is good perfect for you please don't forget for subscribe and uh, help me and uh, there are right at right side there are one bell icon please click the bell icon and the last time i will show you the connection in technical data sheet and uh, second actuator also connection so you can see here technical uh, technical data sheet is here technical data sheet if anyone need technical data sheet just uh, you can read here see and then connection is same like this okay see connection from this is the auxiliary power and this is the uh, exiting line first one second one loop and third one okay see so viewers thank you for watching my video Thank you for joining.